Hi everyone, this is Rachel at Studio Us with another at-home drawing lesson for you guys. Today we're going to take on a nice airplane done with oil pastel. So grab your materials and we'll get started. To kick things off, you'll want a blank piece of paper as well as a drawing pencil, a sharpie marker to go over your final drawing lines, and an eraser to clear off the pencil from underneath the sharpie. We'll go ahead and get started. We're going to start with the body of the plane. So I'm going to mark out my sides, about how far in it goes from the edge, kind of going right down the middle of the paper. Get the back of the plane. It's a little farther in than the front, making sure it's lined up. And then up at the front of the plane, I'm going to mark out the top and bottom because it's widest up near the front. And from there, I'm going to dot out my shape just the right curve to this point. I like to kind of visualize this as a carrot shape. I'm going to bring the nose out just a little bit more so it's a little more rounded. Clear off any dots that I don't like. And I think that's a good shape to start with so let's draw it in. take up a big chunk of the paper we want to go on all the way across. Next we're going to add in our wing. So I'm going to mark out the top on either side, where it crosses over, and then how it comes down. What I'm looking at there is the angle going back from the left side of the wing and the angle going back from the right side, right side of the wing. Notice that that angle's a little more straight, this one's a little more slanted. So once we've got our dots in, we can draw in our shape. Looking good. Clean up any extra lines you have. We're on to the next step. So we're going to add in the nose of the plane, marking out where it starts, how far out it goes, and where it is. I'm drawing it in and we're going to get the tail. And just like the wing, I'm going to mark the top edges and the bottom edges. From there, I can just draw the rest in. Got a little bit of a reason for the lines going through the tail and the wing and the nose. Clear those out really quick. Alright, coming up right from where the wing touches the inside of the plane, we're going to use that to mark the end of our back wing, find where it starts as well and draw it in. I'm going to mark where the top of our tail starts. Notice that the line up front goes a little taller than the line at the back, and then we scoop it around to get that nice pin. And draw it in. All right, we're adding some windows. So right where the nose meets the body of the plane, we can set up this rectangular window for our pilot. Got a little curve on the nose to add some detail. And starting at the front of the wing, we're going to do four big circles going down the back of the plane to make those passenger windows. Try to keep them about the same size. They kind of curve down with the curve of the plane. We want them to be roughly the same size all the way back. All right, looking good. We're going to add in the stripe. So this starts at the top of the tail, connects to the top of the wing. Then I'm going to visualize that going straight through the wing and all the way to the nose. And a little farther down, draw it all the way across. Make sure that line stays about the same width all the way. If it starts tipping it, just correct it. All 
right, I'm gonna finish this guy up with some clouds. I'm just gonna dot these out really quick. And I'm paying attention to how many bumps there are and where the biggest and smallest ones are. So that one has a big bump in the middle and then some smaller bumps on the side. This one kind of goes small, big, small, big, small. So we have a small bump, big one, little one, big one, little one. Same process for the clouds up top. We're seeing the bottoms of these. The clouds on the bottom are kind of going off of our picture and filling in the front, whereas these are more in the background. And just dot them out how you see them. Make sure it's fitting in about the same size as it would be compared to the plane. We've got it in. In this last one, we see the whole cloud, so make sure it's not going off the edges or sneaking in behind our airplane. All right, we've got a good looking airplane to start with. We'll grab our Sharpie marker, carefully trace over all of our pencil lines. Really take your time on the clouds. Make sure you get right in the corner so it's looking nice and bumpy. You don't want to round those little points out where the bumps come in together. And then we'll go and get all the details on our plane. Really take your time with your Sharpie lines. Try to stay right on top of your pencil lines if you can. Remember that we can always erase the pencil and make corrections, but we can't erase the Sharpie. So if there's anything you want to change, change it with your pencil first. All right, we'll finish up our Sharpie lines, grab an eraser, clear off all the pencil lines underneath our Sharpie, and we'll start coloring. So we're gonna start with our blue oil pastel, and I'm gonna outline all of the little detail lines going around my plane and my clouds. So you can see this one's got a really elaborate outline. I'm getting all the side edges, everything. Once I've got my bubble around all the subjects in my picture, I'm gonna fill in that outline, going all the way around on the outsides of all the clouds, on the outer edges, and around the plane. We want to be really careful going around our edges. That way when we fill in the background, it's much easier. Now with oil pastels, it's important to take your time and really wiggle that pastel to get a nice thick coverage so it's nice and smooth. You don't want it to be kind of chalky and see lots of white spots going through. So keep wiggling over the same spot until it gets nice and smooth. All right, now that we're finishing up the last bit of outline, we can go ahead and fill in the rest of the background spaces. Still taking the time to make sure we're getting that oil pastel on, pastel on there nice and smooth. So make sure you're wiggling it a ton, not leaving any white spots behind.
right, once we finish up the background, we can also take that pastel and fill in all of the windows. Take your time to stay inside those lines, really careful going in for those little details. Once we've got the windows filled in, we're gonna grab our next darkest blue and get a little shadow along the bottom of each window. The circular one that kind of curves along the bottom on the rectangle want to go straight. We'll also grab a white and add a little highlight on the opposite side, so up on the tops of the windows. Looking good so far. We'll grab our yellow and fill in all the yellow spots on the plane. We've got our yellow filled in nice and smooth, no white spots hanging around. You can go ahead and grab a golden yellow, so the next darkest yellow in your pack, and get all the shadows along the bottom of the plate. Then we'll grab our white, and just like we did with the windows, get the highlight along the top of the plate. Our next step, we're gonna grab our red, color in all the red parts on the plane. So the wings, the tail fins, and the nose. Again, take an extra time to make sure we get all those white spots. Looks good. We're going to grab a red brown and we'll use this to get the shadow colors on the red. Brown is a great color to lay over on top of red to get a shadow color because it kind of blends in nicely. So look for all those dark spots on the wings. We've got them in there. Grabbing our white, we'll go ahead and get the highlights. There's one on both wings and both pieces of the tail, but not one on the nose. We'll grab a dark blue, go ahead and get the stripe on the plane to finish up our plane. After that, all we need to do is the cloud, so I'll grab my gray. And on these bottom clouds, we just get a little shadow on about half of each curve. So we'll go ahead and get those in there. Then on the top clouds, we're going to go all the way across the bottom to get that bottom shadow. And then little shadows on the top of each 
Same thing for the last cloud and we will be all done. I hope you guys had fun and did a great job on your airplanes. We'll see you for the next one.